So, is the Earth doomed, or will humanity just take care of itself first? So, I hope you like the video. If you do, please like it. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate that. And thank you so very much for watching. You don't know how much it means to me. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, this is something I think about, actually. I, I, it seems to me that um, yeah, long uh, after we've messed everything up, this earth will crust over and, and heal itself. And then billions of years later, probably we'll start all over again. And who's to say that we're not just a series of that having already happened, you know? So let's look at that. So in a billion years, the sun will be a billion times brighter and it supposedly cause all the earth's oceans to evaporate, says NASA. And, uh, but that's a billion years into the future. So, uh, future. so uh, but, and a solution is to relocate humanity to other parts of the universe. Maybe some kind of major mobile uh, upgrade to the International Space Station in order to seed uh, other worlds with uh, our genetic material in the plants and the animals that are with us. So that's the idea. Uh, the idea. Um, the Earth could smash into another planet. Uh, it could be swallowed by a black hole. Uh, it could be pummeled to death uh, by other asteroids. Uh, an astrophysicist at the University of Sussex and uh, th Sussex and uh, thanks Harry um, says that the day might be uh, sooner than we think. But the general gist is that increasing heat from the sun will cause more water to evaporate off the surface and then be held in the atmosphere, acting as a greenhouse gas, trapping more heat, speeding up evaporation, and so it's just an endless cycle. But probably humanity will self-destruct long, long, long before that. Um, um, so humanity must duplicate along with other existing species, okay, G genetically identical, identical copies of us, the plants, the animals, in order to spread to other stars like a Noah's Ark. Um, the dead silence we hear from other uh, habitable exoplanets likely proves that advanced civilizations have always had much shorter lives than their host star stars, ours being, of course, Earth. So the idea being that you know, all these dead planets out there that we don't hear a thing from, who are just uh, dry and barren and cold, they're just in some s stage of where we will be eventually after we have killed ourselves off and then the planet has uh, crusted over. What do you think? So I guess we just have to pull cards, right? So we'll see, um, you know, will humanity kill us before the sun does or some asteroid uh, shower that beats us to death? And, um, and will we um, seed other planets with our seed? So this is the Druid Craft Tarot, and uh, it's sort of uh, on the magic of uh, Wicca and Druidity. Or Druidry? Maybe that's the correct uh, terminology. Uh, Philip and Stephanie Carr Gom, uh, with illustrations by Will Worthington really nice deck um they're a little um the car the box is fantastic because you really feel like you got a nice quality uh, gift if you gave that the guidebook is huge and uh, the only thing i would say is that it's a shame it's not in full color but it gives you some some useful uh, divination uh, for the cards in there so i like that the cards themselves the one uh gripe I have is that you have to dump them out of the box, which I'm not that happy about. But um, the cards themselves, they're huge, so some people might find them a little awkward to use, but I like them. And uh, the divination that you get out of them is amazing. There's so much thought that went into each picture, every element of each picture, and um, so they're very useful in almost any uh, circumstance we're going to use these. And I like to spread them out like this. Uh, if I'm doing a reading with someone, then I like to usually let them uh, spread them out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. It's a good way to mix them up without, you know, damaging the cards too much. 
uh, which is uh, always important to me. So these cards are fantastic. Druidcraft Tarot. I guess I've wandered off onto the wrong um, channel in uh, on my computer, haven't I? To to so all of a sudden have this question in my head. But uh, you know, it is something uh, I thought about. I can't believe that we're the only uh, time this planet has produced. Uh, life and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if a billion years ago there was a very advanced civilization like ours or better or maybe uh, less a little bit less who knows and uh, and here we are in this cycle so so that's the question uh, is the sun going to kill us off um, which I don't think it is but is the sun going to kill us off or are we going to do ourselves in long before that long 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 before that and um, and then the question will be Will we be smart enough? Is this the iteration of humanity that will be smart enough to now go and colonize uh, someplace else? As if that hasn't already happened. So, let's see. That's for uh, crazy questions, but let's uh, have a little fun today and ask that. So, uh, so there we go. Will humanity kill us off before the sun does? Be the first question. Will humanity kill us off? Before the sun does, will humanity kill us off before the sun does? Are we just going to take ourselves out and end it all and have all those years left? Will humanity do we quick before the sun does? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five. And six. I wonder how many people I've lost already. <laughs> we'll see. So will humanity do it before the sun does? Signify for that. Whew, nine of swords. So it's a nightmare, you know. And uh, and uh, so that I, this to me, if this were the only card I pulled, this is yes. That's how it's going to go. But uh, that's the challenge to that. Is that it's a nightmare. Uh, what's the oh, that's the signifier then? What's the challenge to that nightmare? That is, ah, new journeys. Just what I said. That um, we've been on this journey before and we'll be on the journey again. So yeah, so we will kill ourselves off and eventually another another humanity will start up again. <laughs> and um, what's the basis of that reading? The Ten of Wands is um, is really, you know, a heavy load to carry. So, you know, the basis of this uh, could be, and look at this beautiful, lush, wonderful uh, territory. Uh, that we've got here. So the basis of this could be that we've worked so hard, um, we've done so much um, that we may destroy it all again. The past of this reading is the world. And that is, again, an end of an era and now beginning of another era. Amazing. Fascinating. Okay. Just to tell the story again. So the question is, will humanity kill itself off before the sun does? Here we have our nightmares. That says to me, yeah, that, that that's what's going to happen. And uh, that there will be another journey begun after that. The basis of the whole thing was the Ten of Wands, which is how much of, of a hard work uh, we've, with this this heavy load we've carried uh, to destroy our universe. And in the past of this readings that it happened before, it's going to happen again. Cycles ending in the beginning, new beginnings. The sky of this reading then is uh, the Five of Swords, which is an abuse of power. And of course, it is what we've done. Look, this, the sky is ominous here. We've abused... Uh, our privilege to be on this planet. Gee whiz. That's not good. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing for that first question, will we do it before the sun does, is a six of wands, which is victory. And so we shouldn't look at this as a as a um, a bad thing. <laughs> it's just the natural cycle of life. It's just on a huge scale that we don't often think about. Now the next part of that question is then um will will this be the time will we now this time this iteration will we seed other planets will we do some sort of a noah's ark uh, move um let's see how that goes the uh, self of that question will we seed other look at that my goodness so these people are these animals are baying at the moon looking at another planet okay and the secrets may be revealed to get us there Gee whiz. Okay, the um, environment that that's in, the environment that that's in, will we see another planet? Prince of Pentacles is uh, literally, um, how strong is the prince? My goodness, this has to be like the Page of Pentacles. 
Uh, you've got the king and the queen, the prince. Oh, no, this is like the knight. So this is the this is us who are going to fight for our value uh, to bring it forward. Hmm. So that's the uh, that's the uh, environment that this is in. We're trying to get it done. OK, and then the sky, uh, the hopes and the fears of this are the lovers. Oh, no, that's interesting. So this looks to me like almost a Garden of Eden. OK, almost like uh, what would happen if we would have seeded other planets or another another place in the universe and uh, and and everything starts over again. That's very interesting. And then the likely outcome for the whole thing, if it's a, that's the case, is uh, Princess of Wands. And so the princess is going to be the very weakest of the court cards. And this is a movement forward. So this would be the very uh, beginning of another plan to move forward, but uh, more than um than finishing cycle so this is a, a fertile a princess who can reproduce and bring uh you know start carry forth this plan of, of bringing humanity again around uh, the corner interesting love that well i'll just recap it the way i see it so here we go um the first question is will humanity uh knock itself out before the sun ever does and the uh, signifier of that was the nightmares the knight of swords so i would say yes the knight of swords is telling us yeah that, that, that's what's going to happen our nightmare will come true and it's in the environment of what it's challenged by new beginnings okay and that's just what i'm talking about is that once uh, one humanity ends does another one begin that's what the challenge is there and then the base of that was what a heavy load that this is and at some point we're gonna have to put the load down and the earth look is the earth nature is already consuming this guy it's much bigger than he is so we'll have to put that bundle down and in the past of that reading just kind of confirms it that this, you know this is the world crawl cycles beginning and ending so one ends and another one begins the sky of that reading was the five of swords which is an abuse of power and that's a very angry sky back there and we've just abused our earth but that's what would always happen and then the likely outcome of that whole thing is victory is that yeah we'll start over again a, a, another humanity, another version of us, hopefully better, we'll start over again. And then, uh, so I said, but will we see it on the planets? And what do I get? I get a, uh, uh, you know, the animals baying at another planet and secrets being revealed. Looks good to me. And that's in the environment of Prince of Pentacles, which is like the Knight of Pentacles. That's uh, bringing, fighting to bring that uh, value forward. And then the sky of that was Lovers, which of course looks like a Garden of Eden to me, starting all over again uh, on, in another place, another time. And then the likely outcome is the Queen of Wands, and that's we need a fertile queen of the plan to get things going again in another planet. So it looks like this could be the iteration of humanity that uh, makes a go at another planet, if that hasn't happened already. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.